now in 2024, every company should own media. How can I solve these problems? People buy stuff from me because I obsess over their problem more than they do. I'm so obsessed with finding the answer to other people's problems. And then I show up and I tell them, I found the answer! And guess what they do? They obsess over paying me. You're thinking of someone other than yourself. Power of storytelling in marketing in 2024 is the most powerful thing you can do. A lot of people don't know what you've gone through. A lot of people don't know how this company started. Who is can I trust them with my property? So my question for you is, what are your problems with social media right now? Quality content, content that moves the needle, you're bound to generate leads like you've never seen before. Future looks bright for those who create great content. This is just the beginning for us. What city in South Africa are you in? So I was actually in Nairobi a few days ago. I'm still kind of jet lagged a little bit. So I'm in Australia now. Um, I have a few interviews here. Obviously, this is our base for our company. So I'm back in Australia, mm -hmm. um, coming from Africa. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where I'm at the moment. And it's crazy to think about it. Like I've gotten used to it now. Like I'm, if I go to go travel and it's just like Australia is just so far, honestly. So yeah, I definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know if podcasting has done this to me, but just like the words that I can hear from that and what I can hear for that is a care for your clients. That is that is a passion and care for your clients. Like, no, I want 24 hours a day when someone has an issue that we're there for them. That's that's what I could just hear from from that convers from what you just said. So, yeah, again, don't mind me if I just I do that quite a lot. So let me ask you, because obviously you took this meeting with me today. And to be honest, I was quite impressed with what I saw. I was quite impressed with what I saw and what you guys are doing. So real first question would be, what made you want to take this meeting with me? And the second question is, and this is the question I ask everyone. It's, it's, my, it's my most important question is, what is your vision? Like what wakes you up? Like you, you've done so well. What is waking you up every single day to, you know, keep keep this going what's what's the vision to, to hear the passion in your voice and it always takes me back to like you know the company what what you've been able to create that was once in your imagination it, it never existed you had it in your imagination and you found a way to bring that out into reality and i guess it's the same why i'm on this call but you just said something that you found a way or you obsessed even I don't know the in behind the scenes of your journey of your life But it seems like to me you obsessed over someone else's problems You obsessed over how can I solve these problems people buy stuff from me because I obsess over their problem more than they do I'm so obsessed with finding the answer to other people's problems And then I show up and I tell them I found the answer and guess what they do they obsess over paying me. It's very special to me. I can get goosebumps because it's like you're thinking of someone other than yourself. I feel that's what you've been able to do here. So it's really interesting. So properties is that's the 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 goal. That's that's what's valuable to you guys at the moment. Now it's interesting again because as I said with podcasting, you know, I got into this um, let's say a year and a half ago, and to be honest, it's changed my life because what i went on to learn was it was not just more than it wasn't just a podcast it, it, it's a media company but not only that is the power of storytelling the power of storytelling in marketing in in 2024 is the most powerful thing you can do and a lot of people don't know what you've gone through a lot of people don't know how this company started who is can i trust them with my property so my question for you is what are your problems with social media right now? What are the challenges there? Um, very interesting. Obviously, my mind was racing and going crazy, but um, I've been trying to slow it down. With what you guys are doing, you're at a unique place. Do you know why? Because I see a lot of business owners in the same position. I speak to them so many times a day, and it's being able to master that social media. Now, to be honest, when I went through your social media posts, maybe I can show you off, but when I went through the post, I didn't get that spark. You know, I didn't, I, to be honest, I thought it was in-house. But what I mean by that is now in 2024, every company should own media, should have their own media company in-house. And what do I mean by that? Okay, Eve, Sujiro, what do you mean by media company? If created a podcast 
you have a podcast on YouTube, Spotify. You can do so many things with it in so many creative ways. For example, like you imagine having a guest, uh, sorry, a property owner on the show, maybe someone who agrees to it. Let's sit down and talk with you. Talk about also your life, how you got into, you know, how they found you. You know, that goes on YouTube. A lot of business owners, like I smack my head when they're not on YouTube because Google owns YouTube. So now a lot of people kind of don't like reading as well, but YouTube is the, the visual search engine. When people search properties in South Africa, properties here, they go, it goes on a lot of the times on YouTube. Of course, Google ads is there and that's great. Cool. We're going to keep that. But if you have that presence on YouTube nowadays, there's no such thing as the big companies, NBC media. No, the great equalizer is here. Days of guys leveraging their pulpit and the fact that we're CBS, we're ABC, we're such and such. No, no, no. Guess what? We're Mr. Beast. We're Sean Cannell. We're this Joe Rogan. We're this, this. Oh my God, we kind of need those guys to come and help us out with this. Of course they are. This is going to flip in ways nobody is expecting except for guys like you, guys like us who are content creators. Future looks bright for those who create great content. This is just the beginning for us. Hey, you're a business owner. You're a marketer. You're into copywriting. Guys, why are we still doing it the hard ways? We live in 2024. We have AI. The link in the description, text core text. They have cheat codes for you guys, man. You have an assistant, a built-in AI assistant that helps you do everything. Look, there's not more that I can say that does this justice. Head over to the link in the bio, text core text. Go get your AI assistant now. Make marketing easy for you. Make your business easy for you. Use AI. I use tools that are efficiently and effectively going to get you where you need to go back to the video you can own your own narrative you and, and it's and it starts off with having you know speaking to you storytelling okay how to start and then you just be creative with it but I believe and and I'm just so passionate about this but if people learn how to use media and the power of media like you said great interviews great content content that People buy off emotions. They don't buy off, they buy off emotions, you know? Um, so as I'm not getting emotional, but I'm very passionate about this. Like, you know, so I look on the Instagram page and like, this is not good enough. Luxury homes is taking over the world. You guys have properties in Dubai and South Africa. How can I trust you? And I, I feel inst like you guys need to be on TikTok. You just, I understand what you're saying about people not maybe going on Instagram and I understand that that's cool, you know, and it, it does make sense. But if you have an omnipresence on all platforms and not only that with quality content, content that moves the needle, you're bound to generate leads like you've never seen before. And, and the great thing we talk, you know, and, and I think LinkedIn is, is, is a great place. Um, so it's not too much. Just, I just wanted to show the most powerful thing about it is, you have that media company, now you put in your own advertisements. Hey, we know you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna sign up for a free consultation call, click the link in the description. So as they're watching and as their subconscious mind is engaged with, you know, let's say it's a property owner, they can see, they can see themselves in that mother. They can see themselves in you, entrepreneurship. If owns the media, now you guys can put in webinars. You can throw in, you know, advertisements, newsletter, leads coming in because you own media. You know, sorry, I can go on a bit of a rant about it. I think, of course, like, you know, this is what we do. And, you know, I traveled around the world doing this. And obviously this was just for me to, to, to understand you more, get to know you more. It's even better that I've learned your story. As I said, I was obsessing. I was looking at your social media and I was just like, I was killing myself. They have properties in Dubai. Lights were just going on because you guys are onto something special. And if you lose, if you use media now, you'll be around for the next two, 300 years. Yeah, and, and what, what's really interesting is, and it's so funny because again, I speak to so many people like yourself and other people, but the a lot of great business owners like yourself, a lot of great people, they're introverts. They're introverts, but, and, and I've seen a lot of them become successful, especially because of social media, they're introverts, but when you get them again, like this could be a whole podcast conversation. If I was there and we were just talking like this, however long this conversation has gone on, this would be so valuable to someone who's watching from both ends. Honestly, it is. And, and that's what changed my life about podcasting. I was like, wait a minute. I have all these conversations off camera. What about if I just turn the camera on? And, and you know, it, it, that's, this, this is what it's turned into. And even for you guys, it, it becomes another revenue stream. 
the media, imagine you get paid to market. It, it, it becomes a revenue stream, of course, through time and consistency and, and time allocated. And, and you need help, you know, yes, time. And a lot of business owners say it's the time. And obviously that's where we try to provide that solution to helping you know, build something. To be honest, like a lot of our clients are is is doing interviews, right? So I have a, a um, Australian lawyer. I come in, sit in his office. We do an interview. That is our service. We provide them social media um, clips, you know, for you know for him to post on LinkedIn, post everywhere, which of course brings in and does quite a lot of well because people connect with video, and I think that's why video is so powerful more than ever. And you talked about the the podcasts. That's why we said, no, we're going to be on audio, but we're also going to do video. Like we, we have to dominate that we have to, everywhere. And, and you can even do this as soon as you get off the call with me. If you go on our podcast page or my personal YouTube channel, you will see we are what we talk about because you're the way when you build up a media network, your reputation stands for itself. When people Google, they can able to see a portfolio and portfolio of things that's tangible. So by the time you have warm leads already come in, they're so warm because they've consumed so much of your content. They've consumed, they've seen, they've, they've literally seen you guys having a host, whoever it is, talking to property owners, saying, you know, how much the, the service has been great. Even for me, like I told you at this beginning of the conversation, I could hear your empathy, your care for your clients. All we got to do now is turn the camera on and do that consistently over time. And, and watch that change the trajectory of your company. Watch you guys get that 2,000 properties like this. Again, yes, it does take consistency. You need to be consistent. You need to be out there proper in the media, you know, but once you do that over a year, six months, there's possibilities because you already have a business. You already have something tangible for people to, to come in and buy it, but you, you just hooked in the subconscious. You own the narrative, you know? If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to click here and I'm sure you're gonna love that one.